What's up guys, this is Abhijit with Digit. We are at MSI's booth, We're looking at the new graphics card line. The older twin flows of Phi system has been updated currently and if you look closely over here and if you remember the twin Frozer 5 uh, system you will remember that the dents over here that you see were placed a little bit towards the end of the fans and now they have been posed at the center this ensures that more uh, heat is dissipated outside from the fans the other updates in the twin Frozer 6 version is uh, new ball bearings that have been fitted at the center of the fan. This will uh, make sure that the fans run for a long time and keep your GPU cooler. MSI is planning on releasing six variants in the GTX 1080 and 1070 line itself. So what we have in front of us is the gaming Z version. There is the gaming X version also and a gaming version which is the normal one. and a very base version called uh, Armour. The difference between the Gaming Z and the Gaming X version uh, is pretty uh, simple. Uh, the Gaming Z that we have in front of us will be able to uh, get to a higher clock and at the back plate here you'll see this can be lit up with RGB lights controlled by the gaming app, the MSI gaming app. You won't find this uh, particular LED panel on the gaming, Z, uh, gaming X version. So if you have a closer look, we have the Gaming Z version over here and the Gaming X version over here. The difference over here is only the RGB LED light panel, nothing else on the front panel. As you can see, it's pretty normal nothing different at all nothing different at all between the two variants and both of them have an LED lit logo the MSI logo is RGB lit in both the variants this is the most basic version of the GTX 1080 uh, and probably how the GTX 1080 1070 will look there's no twin Frozer 6 over here but twin Frozer 5 so as I said earlier that these were placed at the middle. The reason is that they are trying to keep the cost of the base version really low. You won't be able to overclock it. They haven't mentioned what the base clock will be, but we are pretty sure it will be around the 1100. They haven't mentioned anything about the base clock and we are sure that will be near what NVIDIA recommends. As you can see, there's no backplate over here. It's open and this is the case for every uh, budget gaming card, the one which is clogged at the lowest. Also updated in the Twin Frozer 6 system is the heat pipes. So if I turn this around, what you see on your left is the GTX 980 from MSI. And here you will see there are four heat pipes, while on the newer GTX 1080 Twin Frozer 6 system, you have the heat pipes uh, placed closer to each other and there are six of them. The die size on the GTX 1080 is smaller so it gets more area to dissipate the heat and hence there are more heat pipes over here. The distance between the fans are constant and there are no changes over here. So that would be all from MSI's new lineup of uh, GPUs especially the GTX 1080. We will see the same cooling system over the 1070 as well and until the release date we won't be seeing any of those cards. For more such videos from Computex 2016, do subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one.